Hey guys, um, so, um, a lot of people have been asking me, have been asking me the question about, um, my go-kart, my red go-kart in here. They've been asking me, like, how did you do the predator swap? Like, you know, like asking me a bunch of questions about it. So today I'm going to do like a quick overview of how I did the Predator swap on my red go-kart right here. Um, and hopefully I can uh, answer your questions today. So let's get into it. So uh, this is what it looks like right now. Um, now obviously the first thing that you're gonna have to do is rip off the old engine and drivetrain and all that stuff. You're gonna take that all out, as well as the plastic cover. Um, I had to remove one of the tabs for it so the engine can fit, but this is the original motor and it looks something like this. All that red stuff or this orange stuff is just gasket maker, don't worry about that. Um, this is the original engine to the go-kart. And as you know, um, I put it on this go-kart project I did a couple years back. But that's a topic for another video. So what I did was, uh, so obviously I got this Predator from Harbor Freight, and um, and what I did was I uh, the first thing that I had to do is I had to cut. There were some frame modifications that I had to do. There was this bar, like red bar that like stuck way up right here, that I had to cut off. And I also had to cut another bar that went like across there because it was blocking the gas cap. So obviously that wasn't gonna fly either. So I had to cut both of those off and I just put these rubber ends on them. Now, obviously they're, even though they're a little like, even though they're like split and stuff, it's, it's whatever. Um, oh yeah, and these tires, um, I had to, I switched out the front and the rear tires because I had, um, because the old ones, like the, the tread was, uh, just wearing out. So I needed to get new tires. So these are, these are like new, well, new tires. And this is just for performance. So don't worry about that either. And so what I did was I took the engine and I was able to reuse the same bolts that bolted the. 80 cc engine down to the frame uh they were perfect for this engine too so what i did was i bolted uh these mounting holes i don't know if you'd see them the mounting holes right here i put i used two original mounting holes for the original engine bolted this through and um it's also on the back i don't know if you can see it I could try to show you, but let me see if I can get a view. Just a minute. It's, uh, uh, maybe I'll show you from the other side later. So, but I used two original holes and I drilled two new holes on here and on the other side. And I, and I put these rubber things to help with vibration. I don't even know if they really help, but who knows? Um, and I had to buy a new chain and a new clutch. Uh, the clutch I used is a, this is a, a, a 12 tooth clutch for a 35 chain for a three quarter inch output shaft, which is what the Predator has. And I use these washers right here to line up the clutch with the chain because after I uh, drilled these holes and bolted the engine down, it was out of alignment a little bit. So I just used these washers to have the clutch, like, to keep it in line with the uh, sprocket. So yeah, I had to buy a new clutch and chain, which isn't a big deal. I mean, like, this swap is actually pretty cheap. It isn't that expensive. It'll, like, I can guarantee it'll cost less than 200 bucks. Um, the engine was 120 bucks from Harbor Freight. The clutch was about 20 bucks, and the chain 
well, it depends on how much you order. I ordered 10 feet of chain, which is less than 20 bucks. And of course I've put more money into this thing since then, such as like, you know, the new tires. And at some point I had to get a new sprocket because the old one, like the, all the teeth chipped away. So I needed to get a new one. Um, and over here you can see, uh, the, uh, the bolts, you can see this is pretty, it's pretty dirty though. I need to, I need to clean this thing up. Um, and, um, as you can see, I also hooked up the throttle. I used the original throttle. I put it in. There's this little elbow thing, and I made sure, make sure that it was, like, that I wasn't angled down because it would block this from moving because the way the throttle works is it goes like that. And if this thing is angled down, it wouldn't allow it to work. And the way it works to put the throttle in is that, like, this is, like, the actual cable. You uh, unscrew this, and there's a hole that right there, and then you slide it and screw it back down. And this side, you just unscrew it, put this part through, and screw it back down. I'll hold it in place. Once you have the engine in your hands, you can really see how easy it is. So yeah, the gas pedal, uh, it does work. Um, let me see if I can get a good view of this. Let's see. So yeah, that works. Um, and uh, oh yeah, no, this is just a, a fuel line for something else. Don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. Um, oh yeah, and the original kill switch. Usually there's like a little key here that you have to turn in order to start the engine. Uh, that doesn't work either. You have to remove that. And your engine will have this uh, kill switch like right here somewhere, but mine broke off. So I just have to shut off the fuel, which is not a big deal, but it's fine. So yeah, that is basically how I did the swap. Um, hopefully I answered your questions. Um, like I said, it's, it's pretty simple. Like once you have the go-kart and the engine and everything in your hands, you can really see like how simple it is, but I just wanted to try to make it like as simple as I can, as simple as I could. Now, yeah, so of course, if you want, you can put more money into it if you want like a exhaust or like a fancy air, air filter or something like that. But I just decided to leave this thing to generally stock. I did modify a couple things, but um, you know, this thing, oh yeah, and this thing tops out at about, well, its average speed is about 23, 24 miles an hour, unless we change the gearing, like with the 12 tooth clutch and that, that's a 60 tooth sprocket right there, I believe, if I remember correctly, actually I don't remember. Um, of course they can go faster, um, like, you know, you could just like bypass the governor and stuff. I wouldn't recommend you do that, but I've done it a few times. I was able to get this thing go up to 32 at some point. So yeah, these engines are really nice. Don't waste your money on like some fancy like Honda engine. 120 bucks for this thing, still runs. I bought it a few years ago, like three years ago, and it's still good and it's still running today. I've had a lot of good luck with these Predators. And uh, so yeah. That's basically it. Um, leave a like. It really helps me out. Helps me, uh, you know, make more videos like this for you guys. And uh, I'll see you all later. Peace.